this might throw you guys a little bit off for a loop, but today I just want to talk about some crazy dreams I've been having. And for starters, a dream about my teeth falling out. Have you guys ever had your, a dream of your teeth falling out? Because I had one the other day and, you know, it kind of started off with, you know, me having some loose teeth and I was like picking them off one by one with my tongue. And I was just spitting them out in the sink. And I, was, I told my girlfriend was in the dream and I told her about it. And she kind of just looked at me pretty normal, like just like, oh, it's like didn't really say anything. And I was like, you know, I was pretty lucid when I had this dream. So my first indication that I was dreaming was that right there. And she was like nonchalantly been like, oh, like, OK, like whatever. I was just like, OK, that's kind of weird. Second thing that kind of like confirmed it was the amount of teeth I was spitting out. Like, I don't know if you know how many teeth you have in your mouth, but, you know, I don't like I spit out at least 50, 60 teeth, you know, and I was just like, dude, there's no way. I'm pretty sure we have like 26 or some shit. I forget the number, but like I spit out like twice that amount. I was like, there's no way like we have like that I have that many teeth in my face. Like, where are these teeth coming from? Like, what did I eat? I was just like, no, wait, wait. Like, this, this has got to be a dream. I'm just being paranoid and shit. So that was a crazy dream. I was just spitting out, like, a bunch and bunch of teeth. I think I heard that uh, when you have dreams like that, it's because you're, like, anxious or you just think about your teeth more often than most people. So, yeah, that's kind of fucking weird. Another fucking dream I had was, you know, uh, when I crashed my car, or like better yet, my buddy crashed my car. My buddy Colin, he was in this dream, another buddy named Chris. And, you know, what pretty much happened was me, Chris, and a bunch of buddies were going to this bar. I was going to go meet him. And I guess I borrowed his bike, which I don't even think he has a bike. But, like, I borrowed his bike, and he has a bike lock on it with, like, a word combo on the lock. And he told me, I was, I got there and I was locking up the bike and he told me the combo was blunt. You know, I was just like, okay, go lock it up. And I had a backpack with me and I was like, I realized like, oh, I don't want to have to like carry this backpack or some shit. So then I had this idea, unlock it, lock the backpack in with the bike. And then it occurred to me, it's like, that's fucking stupid because someone could just like unzip the backpack and get whatever the fuck's inside. So I was just like, God damn it. And I fucking unlocked it, took the backpack out, relocked the bike. And then when I looked back, some like homeless dude on a bike was just like chilling there. And he had this bike where he had like these like surfboard holders. Like you have the like the rear wheel and on the outside of the wheel, it's like these like metal kind of things. And on one of them was the bike I or the backpack I had. And I was just like, what the fuck? So I just like grabbed it. and I was like, this is mine like what the fuck and it's like say something to me like i was like thinking in my dream and he does and i was like what like what the fuck dude this is my fucking backpack and he's like no man that's fucking mine this and that and then my buddy colin comes out out of nowhere and is like get the fuck out of here like the homeless dude like we kick your ass or some shit like that i can't really remember and then after that you know i like uh oh yeah because i think i walked in the club and they told me i can't have the backpack inside the club and i fucking like walk out to like leave it like locked and then i am um, and then he told me that you know they went to like hulu's bar section two of the club which is not even a fucking bar here i thought they were talking about like hula's or something i forget what it's called like this place downtown and i was like oh man i was about to drive there you know thank god he told me like i don't really know where that is you want to like I have my car. Do you want to take me? And was like, yeah, let's go. And fucking like, like drop my keys. He like grabs them. And it's like, is like, you know, we get to my car, which by the way, I like bike there. So I don't know why the fuck I had the car like, like nearby. So we get in my car and then we're like, I'm in the passenger seat and like, you know, we're going around corners and it feels super fast and gnarly. And like, I felt like we all, we almost like slid and crashed into a wall. But I guess he was driving just fine. And I was like, fuck, dude, I am pretty drunk. Good thing this guy is driving. 
you know? And the next thing you know, we actually fucking like crash and, you know, just like in the blink of an eye, it's just like, Err! boom, you just hear. And, you know, we end up in the middle of this like green fucking field. And it's like, it seemed very familiar to me. It was kind of fucking weird. And I, I look over and I see like a group of like, uh, you know, um, dudes, I think like some Mexican dudes that are like speaking Spanish and, you know, I could understand them. And they're all fucking like carried, all four of them carried their car outside of the, of the field. It was like a green, like, imagine like a green kind of square on one side. It's like a wooden fence. I think that's where we like crashed through. And on the other side, it was like squared off by metal construction fence. And on the other side of the fence was like a Dollar Tree parking lot, like similar to the one we have like in town off of like 17th Avenue by the beach and shit. If you live around here, you probably recognize the one. Um, but yeah, so I was just like, told my buddy Colin, it's like, hey man, like I've, like I've been here before. Like I know how to get out. Like let's follow those guys. Like you think we can like pick up the car and fucking like you know get out of there and then before i could even like like finish my sentence the dude's just like carrying the car like you know like through to the other side of the parking lot and i was thinking it's like oh like you know kind of checks out you know it's like a nissan altima a, like pretty like small car <laughs> like fucking uh checks out this dude's like damn this dude's pretty like ripped like whatever didn't think much of it we get over there and it was like folded, you know, I was like, how the fuck did it? So we had to like unfold it. Like, I, I don't even know. It's like weird dreams. So we unfolded the car and it was just the fucking, um, it was just the frame, like the, the body, the shell of it. And there's no wheels, no seats. It was, this, this, it was just the shell. It just tripped me out. And I was like, what the fuck? And then we, like, I told him, it's like, hey, man, like, fucking maybe the, the bottom of it, you know, with the seats and everything, are like, like, back over there, let's go, like, find it and, like, try to drive off before any cops come and shit. And so we, like, go back across the, the, the fucking road or the, back across the, the grass patch, like, square fields to the other side of the road. And then I'm all looking around. I see, like, something with, like, tractor wheels. And he, like, points out, like, Hey, dude, there's your car right there. I was like, I just see the tractor wheels at first. And I'm like, no, what are you talking about? And I look up and I see like this car, you know, like, so we pretty much crashed into like a shipping container, like the big ones they carry in ships, like those big metal ones. Imagine like crashing into like the shipping containers here and the car is just kind of like 45 degrees like there, just like wheels aren't even touching. And it had no body no shell it was just like you know had tr tractor wheels like essentially and fucking i look up and like my steering wheel was the fucking same like the stereo lights and everything were the same and i was like like fucking dumbfounded i was like how the fuck like there's like no way like and i had like really like fucking i think that's kind of what woke me up like no way this is fucking real and i fucking woke up then i was like you know kind of like like in shock like like it was super gnarly and it wasn't until you know i uh i realized like in my dream i was just, like i've been here before you know after i woke up i realized i had a similar dream of me and my girlfriend kira i was driving though and we had like crashed in that exact same spot and we were the ones you know we the tr the car actually went off the road into the field and we actually pushed the car through like a gap in the field and like got it into that Dollar Tree parking lot. And, you know, it was just so crazy how like a similar dream just occurred and how I like sort of remembered being in that, you know, same similar situation in a previous dream. But I didn't know I had a previous dream about it before. If that makes sense. So I don't know what any of that means. Hopefully nothing bad is going to happen. And Literally yesterday, we go over the hill over Highway 17 up by Santa Cruz County. And it was like pouring, it's raining. There's like a fucking car accident on the way to San Jose, you know, on the opposite end. And fucking on the way back, there was like another fucking accident. Someone's getting resuscitated on the side of Morrissey. Hopefully they made it. 
but it was just pouring rain. I took my mom's car because hers is a hybrid. I could have taken, you know, a V8 truck, but, you know, got to save gas. Got to pay rent. Fucking rent's expensive. So, you know, we ended up getting there, like, just fine and back just fine. But the whole time going around the corners, it just felt like I was back in that dream when, like, my buddy was fucking driving. And I felt like we're just, like, just going to, like, ugh like hit some wall or something it was fucked up um but we ended up making it just all right um the reason why we went over the hill too was to see the um you know the demon slayer premiere of the hashira train arc which was fucking sick but yeah to end it on the dream notes that was a pretty crazy dream that i had and it almost gave me like fucking ptsd like when i drive like going around corners so don't know what any of that means, but hopefully nothing bad's going to happen. Nothing bad has been happening. I haven't been drinking and driving, so that's good. I'm drinking right now, um, but yeah. So yeah, the Hashira training arc that we went to see, the premiere, super sick. The snake Hashira, the wind Hashira, kind of like, oh my God, they're so sick. They had like this intro, like fight at the beginning of the scene. I was very, all I can say is, like, they were, like, on point, like, synced and shit, had each other's backs. It was just really good. I recommend you watch it or just wait for it all to come out. Now I got to wait for it to come out, and it's going to be sick. I can't wait to watch that whole thing. And it's going to lead up to the fucking Infinity Castle and the Sunrise fucking arc. I forget what the last one's called. Prime time. Um, but yeah, you know, we made it there and back safely. Got a little bit of PTSD from this couple of dreams. So hopefully nothing bad will happen. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you ever had a bad dream like that, let me know what it was in the comments and I'll definitely read it and I'll, uh, you know, I'll like it. I'll comment back too. Um, if I find it relatable or fucking gnarly as well, you know, sometimes you just have crazy dreams, but yeah, um, something, you know, I haven't posted in a while. So a little update, I kind of been through, I had like this cooking job. I think I like mentioned in like the a video before and, you know, lost that. I suck at cooking. I applied as like a cashier at first just to like kind of get by. That was kind of lame. But anyways, I got this new job um, at a UPS store. It's pretty dope. And, you know, working my way up the ladder. I've only been there a few months. Haven't really been skating either. But, you know, I've been kind of getting into, the, like, the, the rhythm of, of life, so to speak. And, yeah, I just feel like I finally got my rhythm down. I'm kind of comfortable with myself and, you know like how much money I need, how many hours I need to work, and this and that. But I've also been just like working and working. Even on my days off, I pick up side jobs to do, you know, just random like property maintenance jobs for this, for my brother-in-law and shit. So that's, that's pretty much my life is just work, work. But I did go skating the other day. I pulled like my fucking groin a little bit, like my left fucking inner thigh just hurts. And I did get a couple tricks, a couple 50-50s on the rail, you know, got a couple front rocks, some slashes on the half pipe over there in Monte Vista Park, I believe it's called. You know, got like a, finally got like a tray flip after like, like eight, ten tries. You know, got a couple kick flips, heel flips, crooked grind here and there. But, you know, I was really pissed off because I can, I was locking into like my back 50-50s on this ledge. But when I, every time I try to go into like a front 50-50, my back foot would just kind of like slip over. And it was just like really pissing me off because it felt like I would de like a, what's the word? De, um, deconditioned my body. Like my legs were just like not used to uh, moving the way um, they're supposed to when performing that trick. So that was kind of fucked. I've been also working out more, um, like three three days a week with Mike trying to get in shape and actually getting a lot of people like notice probably can't tell cause I'm jacketed up and stuff. 
but that like the more tightness of my body too is something I have to work with stretch and stuff um you know quit smoking weed um with my chick she's kind of doing it to the kind of prevent her seeing if it'll help her stomach because she's got like ibs pretty bad and yeah hopefully after a month if it you know subsides she won't smoke again for me um i might just like quit in general and i'm gonna try to quit drinking too um but yeah, it's been about two weeks since last smoked weed. It's going pretty good. I just got off work, decided to film this video, crack open a beer. I don't technically work tomorrow, but I'm going to do a side job around like 11. So it's like what? Like, like 5.15 right now. So it's all good. In the hood, as they say. So yeah, that's pretty much just what i've been up to um work work out work skating a little bit but just you wait to all those fucking friends skater friends i got i just keep progressing every day i'm gonna come back with fucking vengeance so watch out you guys and yeah i'm trying to get back into skating trying to get back into vlogging shooting videos and right now i'm just gonna you know drink a couple tall cans I purchased this, like, a couple Stevo movie bundle things. So I'm going to watch a couple Stevo videos of his earlier days and try to get inspired on some new content to film. So that's pretty much my plan for the rest of the evening. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Crazy dreams, new job, you know, no more weed. And, yeah. Hopefully more skateboarding. This is essentially what this channel is all about, is skateboarding. Angel Reyes skates. And here I am, not skating. <laughs> Fuck. So, whatever. We're going to get back to it. Don't worry. And also, I fucking buzzed my head, kind of. This single, I think it's like a fucking quarter inch. Like an eighth of an inch. It's like grown a little bit, but it was like pretty, pretty down there. Looked like a fucking skinhead. Um, anyways, that's that's all for today. Leave leave down any um, any tricks you want me to see. You want <laughs> any tricks you would like to see me do, and any dreams that are pretty gnarly. Or if you've had similar dreams like your teeth falling out or you crash in your car. All right. Hopefully none of those crazy dreams come true. And that's fucking it. So peace out. Be gnarly. And I'll see you guys next time.